are you kidding? Like, what is this? As you know, I love Brazilian. However, some of my my all black Brazilians still can't find them. Ask my mum; she's sure she doesn't have them. Which, but anyway, so I picked up two pairs of socks because I like the whole Nike sock over your um, leggings look. Do you know what I mean? what people do and I do I have actually stolen a pair of maxi like socks <laughs> but yes uh Katie had put these on her story and they just looked really comfy I was just like can you see how like padded they are so I thought cute let me get my own girly version um so yeah I picked up two pairs I'm gonna wear these tomorrow um but yeah I just like that look Clever, right, left. I enjoy. Ah, I get why. I feel like you could kind of figure that out because the Lazuli sign is only on one side. So, yeah, I got two pairs of those. I think those are like two pounds or something like that. They're really cheap. Um, so, I got the same style in two different colours. So, I got the Sculpt Seamless. Yes, this is what I wanted. So basically, they brought them out in black, which, hallelujah. So the Sculpt Seamless have this ribbed effect that will literally make your bum look insane. That's new. So they attach the label like that now. Uh, so I have these in like the darkish blue bluey shade like the darkest shade that they brought them out in is the shade that I bought them in when they first got released um and yes I enjoy those however I can't really wear them because I got them in an extra small and the extra small is just too small so I got these in a size small so I'll probably wear these tomorrow and I also got them in the shade teal because I do quite enjoy a dark green adding. Oh my god, that is such oh it looks quite bright there. It's not that bright. It's a really nice deep hang on. I feel like that is probably more true to life. But yeah. You can, oh you can really see the detail here. Um so I'll probably wear these on Wednesday maybe. Knows, but yes, pick those up. So my gym legging game is getting strong. But I just, I did just see that Lizzie was still had a sale on at the minute, Friday Monday. So I think that I'm gonna replace the other ones that I have in this place somewhere. What are your bets that I buy them and then I find those other ones? But so far, no luck. But yes, so that is the first lot of Black Friday stuff. So what I'm gonna do? I'm so under my calories. Um. So I'm going to make, um, I can't decide if I want to make a mug cake, or I, mm, I'm going to make I'm probably going to go with a mug cake. I'm going to make a mug cake with a piece of terry chocolate orange in the middle. I learned that from Healthy 
says. I think she's called Kerry on the gram. So yeah. And I'm going to make my mug cake because I've got no calories left. Then I'm going to sort out my sock and underwear drawer. Random. And then I'm going to have a bath and do my revision because I have my mock on Wednesday, 10 to 7. Um, I'm probably not going to get my steps in today, but what I'm going to do is just make up for it tomorrow and I'll just do extra steps tomorrow. I'm not going to stress myself out with trying to get them done when this morning I was just so tired and I do need to listen to my body more and not like completely stress about not getting 10,000 steps in in a day. Um, especially if I can make it up on another day because um, I can't remember but basically say like you have a daily calorie goal if you go under on one day and over another day it balances out so that's why I just tell myself not to stress like about the steps as long as I hit all my other goals the steps is irrelevant um, kind of as long as I can make it up but I do still have to do a little bit because yeah not hit my work exercise or my mood goal so i need to at least get those done but yeah that's pretty much it for this morning my vlog has only just gone live after me starting to upload it saturday night is that absolutely ridiculous it's monday evening it took that long to upload i really need to not make them as long i think i don't know comment down below do you like that they're ridiculously long or do you hate it <laughs> i apologize <laughs> We're doing okay, we're doing okay. We are leaving like really early for work just because this road works. I've just unwrapped my hair because I didn't wash it last night. I'm gonna do it. There's so much that I need to do tonight, I can't even cope. Oh my god, so I had my first PT this morning with Lucy, which fun. Um so I don't know if I mentioned or not, but I'm <laughs> I have joined the gym that she trains at for my PT sessions because we worked it out and it was cheaper for me to take a monthly membership than pay every time I go. Um I mean it's a full on bodybuilder's gym. It's pretty it's yeah, it's legit. Um, but it's cheap so it's like 18 pounds a month which is really good so we've decided it was only going to be eight weeks that i was going to do this with her for but what i would pay um i've cancelled tone and sculpt because that is what like 13 14 pounds a month where for an extra four pounds i can join the bodybuilders gym and because she also works at the gym that i actually do attend by myself she can give me a free membership to that so then what i would have been paying for that i'm going to pay for three pt sessions a week which we just think is a really good idea so that is the new plan i'm so glad i left early because the traffic is absolutely ridiculous Okay, so I've just ate two fab bottles, but there's no chocolate in my teeth. Um, but just had to take like the biggest detour. Um, I'm also having to take kind of the, I don't know if it's a one way to work, but basically there's just roadworks all over my city, and obviously there's two lots of roadworks on my route to work. So, yes, all that for me. So, as I was saying, I've got rid of Tom and Sculpt as much as I really do enjoy that app. Use it alongside PT because Lucy's kind of training with the same sort of stuff, so it's just it's a bit silly. So, yeah, she's gonna get me a free membership to imagine that I pay £36 a month for, and then the £36 a month that I was paying for that, slash, the no longer paying for John and Sculpt is gonna cover the other stuff. So, I'm just really excited to see where we can go PT together. Um, that is the plan um i really tried to hit my fiber and my protein goal yesterday it didn't i was really close to hitting my fiber and i said to her like i can't really hit them both at the same time i don't really know what i'm doing wrong so she said just try and hit the protein goal more than anything so 
and I just have my two fiber bars and then I've actually got my clear way oh, yeah I brought my clear way from my protein I'm gonna see if I can order a couple samples of different flavors because I like the orange and mango I think I like the apple and elderflower that I've brought with me the grape is absolutely horrendous and I have a full tub it tastes so artificial um just because not that I want to steer away from protein shakes with milk because uh, I make mine with oat milk but um, if I'm able to eat more actual food and have the clear way because the clear way is a lot less calories but um, higher like you're still getting your protein in that'll be better so I'm going to have a look into that um, on my lunch break that whole tub i really enjoyed that one but yeah the grape one is just so fake tasting and i can't drink it anyone would like it message me i'll send it you because <laughs> i'm not going to drink it and it's always coming from a pet free smoke free home um but yeah um what was i gonna say yeah so yes i really want to try work on hitting that protein goal um one thing that i am gonna have to do i don't know it's hard because obviously uh with lucy this morning i didn't do much cardio so getting my ten thousand steps in a day on pt days especially tuesdays and thursdays is going to be hard because at the salon mm, i don't i could probably get like three thousand steps in um, and that's if i go to the shop i don't always go to the shop um, so I'm hoping that I finish in time tonight to be able to go to, on the treadmill because obviously my goal for today is an extra 5,000 because I only did 5,000 in summit yesterday and I know like step goals on the be all and end all but um, a step goal is a really good way to increase your need and you know to reach my goals I need to get my steps in so I'll see how I get on today for the life of me, I can't remember who we've got in today. I think we do have a colour at five and at six, so it's going to be a nine o'clock finish. Pretty sure my gym shuts at ten, but I do need to revise everything that I said I was going to do last night. I didn't do. Um, so yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's just a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Of lot. Tuesday but 
my shoulders were so she's really pushed me with my legs today because she doesn't want me to like not be able to walk but from tone and sculpt I'm usually a bit more sore so she's pushed it so I am just on my way to work late as per I should have been there it's just a Friday ritual I feel just to be late can't do it um, I've had to somewhat attempt to do my hair um, because we've got our Christmas dinner after work like straight from work like I'm pretty sure we're getting ready at work um, so oh god this side is not looking great but yeah I'm, I don't I don't know really um, so yeah that's why I was a little bit late because I was like what can I do that is mask proof slash We'll look all right to go for a meal straight from work. Not ideal. Also, I've like put lip liner on and Vaseline, and my lips look huge. That's it, just a lip liner and Vaseline. Um, so, yeah. On a route to work, still the right wash my hair. It's been literally been like over a week. I'm gonna have to brush it tomorrow. I decided tomorrow. I had my other Christmas day for my other job on Sunday and that's the hair salon um, Christmas day so I can't not have washed my hair for that, that's just rude um, but yes don't actually know what I've got this week but I'm um, taking my mum Christmas shopping tonight so I can hopefully do a bit of vlogging whilst we shop why is this bus rolling back? Jesus Um. Yeah. This is my life. Work, 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 work. I'm so tired. I'm gonna get out of bed. I really do need to make sure though that I do get up when my alarm goes off next week and go to the gym in the mornings because I've only been to the gym twice this week and that's when I trained with Lucy. I say this week, I'm I'm gonna go Saturday and Sunday. I've no excuses to not go on those days, but I've felt the difference. So next week. It's just the fact that December started on a Wednesday, the worst day of the week for me, other than Friday. Um, yeah, just, but it has been exceptionally hard to get out of bed this week. But I have to force on that bit. I think I also have to go to bed a little bit earlier. I've not been going to act like late between like 11 and 11 30, which for me isn't too bad, but it's not. It's not Simmons like my Instagram picture. I don't I don't know how we got you know from Happy Friday to that but here we are and yeah Can you the ready? So I don't know where the book is so that you can see. Um I am so tired but it is December the 4th. Obviously, I have advent calendars split between two houses. I have this one here, and then I have one at my mum's. Um, I've already been out this morning and dropped Max and his brother off at the train station. Um, I'm just sat in bed. Um, so, number one was a plain one. Number two is a plain one. Actually, I think it's all plain. Oh no, I've got some of the country ones in. That's okay. Number three. Country. What are you better setting for for? It's country. So that's the kinder calendar done for the day. And then I've got my, oh God, I can't one at my mum's. But yeah, I need to like get a new one because I'm, my mum's definitely to pick her up at 12.30 and take her Christmas shopping. Oh God, I'm exhausted. Um, I 
just don't think I'm gonna I've really not achieved a whole lot this week I've really listened to my body which is completely fine um, but yeah Christ I'm struggling um, God Maxi's room is just so warm and do you know what I mean just like I need to fix my nails because when I got in his van this morning, it's gone, which is really rude. But yeah, I don't think my mum wants to go to too many shops, so it's not too bad. But I think I'm just gonna have like a nice, I say a nice due date day, but I really want to sort out um my room and get these things up on vintage. I might do a little bit of a Primark shop, like, I really need new socks and stuff, so. We're gonna have a little Primark haul, I think. Um, but yeah. It's gonna be so hard to get out of this bed. <laughs> okay, I've made it out of the house. I'm, I'm a little late, but uh, my mum was never ready when I got there. Anyway, the fact that we're going to the shopping in the rain is just horrendous. So. Zoolies, they're at Max's. It's good to be able to repurchase these, isn't it? So I'm happy that these have returned home. Oh, God. Right. So I found those after the morning about week ago. I'm out of curry bags because I didn't want to pack that much. Okay. 
Ich hab auch mal Bock auf. Triple uh, batteries for my slender tone because I want to start smacking my fake abs with that. By fake abs, I mean this is the wire from my bra that I've just left in my car for ages. So I need to put that back in <laughs> and stitch my bra up. Um, right, so finally, Primark. I got these sport socks because, as you know, this is the new little trend that I'm jumping on. And because it's like minus. 100 when I leave in the morning it's nice that my ankles aren't exposed so I picked these up I got two pairs uh, and they were three pounds so I have six pairs plus my two Julies so six and eight and then nine maybe because I have stolen a pair of Max's Nikes it hasn't cottoned on yet it has not cottoned on um I got always birthday presents so if you didn't know, my little brother is born on the 12th of December. He's born. His birthday is the 12th of December. So I've already given him an early birthday present, which was a Squid Game advent calendar, which went down very well. And my mum said he is still loving. And then I saw this and I was like, absolutely. So I picked him up. This Chicago Bulls jacket, which I just think is so cool. Um, now, obviously we're not American, they had Chicago Bulls and they also had LA Lakers and Max was out, but I just thought that the Chicago Bulls, because Max is into um, basketball and stuff, so I would have preferred to have got like a team that he liked, couldn't remember if it was the Lakers or the Bulls, might not even be either of them, but I then thought that this would actually go back better. Better. I don't know what's going on with my accent today. Better with his Jordans because he's got some red and black Jordans. So I was just like, I'll just get the Chicago Bulls one. So yeah, pretty cool. So that is his birthday sorted. And the rest is for me because, you know, why not? So, um, picked up these black jeans. You can see how they've got like this print. I just thought those were really nice. Um, and there's only thirteen pounds. So yes, I thought, why not? Those could, you could either like dress them up or just keep them casual. And I feel like Charlotte has some jeans that are a bit like this, and I really like them. And then my boss really wants me to dress up for work. <laughs> But it's Christmas, um, so I just picked myself up to dressy things. I got this glittery jumper, which would look nice with those jeans, or just some plain black jeans because obviously, like, I'm washing hair and stuff, so yeah, picked that up. I did used to have a glittery sparkly jumper, but I don't know if I still have it or not. We'll have to see. And then for Christmas Eve, because I'm not actually on Christmas Eve, I'm at the dentist on Christmas Eve, so my Christmas Eve Eve outfit for the hairdressers is this dress. Now obviously I'm not going to wear it like this, I'm going to wear it with a turtleneck and tights and boots but I just thought wait until she sees me in this she's going to be like oh my god. And then I also thought this would potentially go for New Year's Eve, we have no plans but in case we do. And again this is only £13. Um, so yeah. I've got two outfits for work there, so she can't complain. And then, oh, I'm so excited for this. Um, I'm pretty sure these are my gel polishes. So I've already designed in my mind how I want my nails to be done off my hands for Christmas. However, so I fix this. And what I've noticed is because I do my nails myself, like. 
sometimes they're a little bit off to one side um because i did attempt to put a dark color on the other day but you could just really see that my nails weren't straight like can you see like that can so goes wrong because i fouled it too much that way so anyways uh, I don't know how I'm going to feel about my auntie doing the dark colour. I really wanted to do like a dark burgundy with a glitter rim, which is one of these. So, I, I'm getting in here. I found these on Instagram, and I actually don't know how I found these on Instagram, actually. Um, I can keep it, and now this sort of nail gel polish is everywhere on my Insta. So it's by the brand Grill Bird. And that's okay, they like to put these little things in everywhere. I hope these dissolve in water. And they are the Hypnotic Gel Polishes. And I got this set of three. Bought these on Black Friday. So we have... 142, 144, and 143. So this is the gold one. Let's do like a little swatch. Because I actually don't own um, glitter gel polishes. So I don't know if that will focus. Oh, that's um, and then we have 142, which is like the grey, the grey, silver, oh my god, my brain, really not with it. Not focusing. And then you have 144, which is like a rose gold but yeah that's better so yeah the gold the silver and the rose gold so picked those up I feel like that rose gold would look really nice with the lilac that I have on at the minute. So yes. Those are my new gel polishes. Um, so quite a productive Saturday. My mum had me here, there and everywhere. Um, yeah. But the majority of the Christmas shopping is done. Um, so that's good. So tonight I'm going to wash my hair and sort out my vintage stuff and put some other stuff to post and watch on TV. Currently watching. It's cold. I'm not gonna remember it before I get on Netflix. It is about Melissa Merck had mentioned it. Um I can see it, I can see it, but I just cannot remember the name. I keep on wanting to say Ozark, it's definitely not Ozark. Uh, does it even begin with an O? What was I watching? Mm -mm. I'm not gonna get it. Yes, 
it does. Outer Banks. I'm going to finish watching. Well, not finish. I don't even know how long that I've got loads left. I'm on season one, episode six of the two seasons. So, I'm going to watch Outer Banks and sort my life out. And yeah, that's it. I actually can't believe how out of breath I'm getting. So, I'm somewhat getting ready for the day. I have on this nasty gal jumper dress. It's really annoying. It's like it's looking really creased, but whatever. Might iron it before I go out for dinner if it doesn't like come out from me wearing it. But it is a little bit big for me. Anyway, my bomber from CLT has arrived. So. To wear to go to dress. So, so Molly May got this in her KLP haul. So, it's like, I need it. Oh my god, it looks cute. Got it in a size small. Probably should have got extra small. Um, but yes, I actually don't own it. I'm going to have to eat this. I really like it when you speak on it. Let me see. Oh, yeah, there's like four ways to get this material. That's annoying. Okay, so I've changed into this shirt. I feel like it's somewhat Christmassy with the red and green on. I'm just gonna quickly do my hair. Because then that's just one less thing to have to do at Max's. So I've just sorted out returning that gilet. I feel like that's one thing that's like really hard to get right is a gilet. I can remember my mum was looking for one for absolutely ages. Um look at that. Um yeah, I don't know. Where did we get hers from? I can't remember. But yeah. Um it took her ages to find one. I was expecting my hair to be a lot worse this morning because I literally just wore dried it and then went to sleep so I was like oh god it's gonna be crazy but it was not at all bad so I've been practicing styling my shorter hair because we are still extensionless I feel like this is probably the longest I've gone extensionless for. Um, yes. Doing pretty well, I think, if I must say so myself. So I like curl the middle and then in the end otherwise it's just it's like cray cray but 
hopefully it doesn't take long to do my hair because I don't have that much and um, because of the look that I go for switch my straighteners off because the hair at the front is the most bothering. Well, those out another nail did me dirty so all these are my natural nails except this thumb because that's what broke for yesterday and this one I kept, it kept on like nigging here so then as I like went to remove the gel polish the whole nail just died so now I'm gonna have to fix this one it's just typical isn't it they were going so well and for anyone who wants to know the colour on my nails it is Gelux Soft Focus just a very pale lilac um, but yeah I was just like just a bit rude um, two weeks before Christmas my nails break so and stick a tip on this one um, and repair it so um, dinner was very very nice um, I got like a quick video of it um, and I got a chocolate brownie for dessert which was delicioso as well and yeah, and I went back to see Max just because barely seen each other the past two weeks. I had a sneeze uh, just because I didn't sleep well last night, and yeah, had a quick nap. It's pretty late now, half past ten. Um, so actually left my headphones at work i don't know if i've mentioned that already or not um so i am charging my old ones i'm pretty sure they still work i'm not too sure whether depending um i might go get my steps in at the gym or i might go for a walk near work undecided at the minute it literally depends on what the weather's like in the morning simply because if these headphones don't work the all I have is my apple ones and I'm not a fan um, and then I'm only going to do cardio but yes we shall see I really want to have a better gym week I only went to the gym twice last week which it's not the end of the world but I can really tell when I haven't been with how I am <laughs> in general um, so yeah I really need to force myself to get out of bed so I don't know if I've mentioned about the past couple of weeks how I've been having belly ache and stuff like that um, it's been really uncomfortable and basically I just think it's my digestion so again, what I want to do this week is um, start my days with apple cider vinegar again and try to have that twice a day just because um, it's just a good way to start the day. So I'm going to start to reintroduce that just to see how I get on. 
if it makes a difference. Like I've got a slight belly ache now and I haven't really eaten that much today or you know anything that could cause me to have digestive issues. Um so yeah. I don't know. I mean it could be stress as well but I don't know. I have looked into um the FODMAP diet but I just don't know if it'd be too hard work to try and figure out what I need to eliminate and whatnot because it is for people with IBS and as we know my stomach and it's in my intestine issues and whatnot it would be good for me to figure it out but yeah I'm not sure really it's just a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit annoying and it's just like being uncomfortable um that's the wrong one um that is nothing worse than just like a dull ache um and then like excessive wind <laughs> oh god it's just yeah it's it is relentless it is really just to be honest um so yes um i'm not too sure what i'm gonna do but yeah i'm gonna fix this nail take off my makeup and then plan my week and go from there so i actually can't really remember what i vlogged but I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog and I hope you have a good day or night wherever you are in the world and I'll see you all next Monday. Have another one. Bye.